Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and we're back for 10 more things that shock tourists when they come to Germany. We had such a great reaction from our last 10 funny little shocking things about Germany that we had to come back for more because after living here for three years and having visited every year for 20 years, Germany's got a good place in my heart and I know it's in yours too. So let's get started with 10 more funny, fun, shocking things that shock tourists when they come to Germany. Now, the first thing I'm gonna start off with is the German line culture, or should I say, the lack of German line culture. Now, the stereotype of Germans, they're very orderly, they like rules and stuff like that. Well, all that goes out, out the window, when it comes to lines, and you'll see that if you're taking the Metro, or the S-Bahn, or, or anything, they don't get in a nice order of the line. It's kind of like a big jumble up to the front. It's like a blob instead of a line. And if you're gonna be waiting in line for something, don't like give people space because literally people will walk in front of you to take your space and they'll say, well, it's your fault. You didn't move up. I thought you weren't in line anymore. And they'll do that and that's how it is. So you literally, you know, get your elbows out and have your space out there. And literally when you wanna get off the Metro or the S-Bahn or things like that, the people will come right when the door's open, people are coming in. So you gotta kinda of force your way out because yeah, German line culture, not so good. Even in other places, I remember I was at the US consulate in Berlin years ago with an old girlfriend of mine and we were in line and we got there. We were the third people there. We got there hours early. Somehow we ended up being like the 20th person in because we were just kind of la 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 la. Oh, line? I didn't see a line. I'm just right here in the front. And you have that happen and it gets really frustrating. So that is the first thing that shocks people is how there is no real line culture here, which is funny because the second thing that shocks you when you are here is how much the Germans do like their rules and regulations. They do like to have rules. They do like to have regulations. They want it all spelled out for them. If you work in business with Germans, you understand that with their contracts and stuff like that. As a tourist, what you'll see is there's gonna be lots of forms and bureaucracy things you might need if you need to get a visa if you're coming here, if you're signing hotels, all these kind of things. And the funny thing is, is the Germans, they like their rules and regulations and they'll let you know if you aren't doing the rules or regulations right. So for example, in our old video, we talked about how you pay for toilets. And I got so many comments of, you don't have to pay for toilets. There's no law that says you have to pay for toilets. I'm like, well, yes, the ladies do clean the toilets, so it's nice of you to leave something there because they're there. Oh no, but there is no law for that. Okay, fine, I got that. Other things you'll see is, uh, for example, with jaywalking, walking across the street. I lived in Germany for three years and I can't tell you how many times I started to cross the street on the red light and some old lady puts her hand in front of me and she says, hey, by rot musst du stehen, by grün lass du gehen, which means by red you have to stop and by green you're, you're allowed to go. Or, or another one they like to say is, sei ein Vorbild für die Kinder. Be an example for the children. I mean, they really like those rules and they'll let you know about it because you might be shocked as how forward the Germans are, especially when it comes to the rules. And that kind of leads into the third thing that'll shock you when you come here are the kooky, funny little Germanisms that you do have when you are here. Now, I did my master's when I, when I studied here. I lived here for a while and I did my degree here. And the funny thing is, is they don't clap when you do something, they knock. They like knock on the tables, you're like, what? So that's like the professional way to clap, is knocking on the tables, which is kind of interesting. Or, or here's one, if someone's crazy, they do this, and hey, you're stupid, is this. And there's just these little tiny German things out there, how, yes, we are very, it's very important to us to have titles. And so I have, I, I'm part of the, I have the Bond ticket, okay? So like the Deutsche Bahn, the train system here, you can get discounts and stuff like that if you fill out the forms, and so you have to put all your titles in. So when they send me my information, it comes Herr Dr. Professor Mark Wolters. So it's Mr. Dr. Professor Mark Wolters. And there's all these little Germanisms that are out there, and it is pretty funny. And honestly, one of my favorite ones are all the different ways they like to say Prost or, or cheers. So if you meet a German, ask them, what's the best way to say cheers? And they'll have like 15 different versions, but there's all just these little tiny Germanisms out there that do kind of shock people when they come here for the first time, but in a nice way. Though I will say the Germanism that shocks you the most the very first time you see it or hear it is when you fly with a bunch of Germans and they land at some travel destination and they all start clapping on the on the plane. You're like, what's going on? Why are they all clapping? So that is kind of a thing. Now they don't do it as much now, but that was a really big thing a while ago. So just be ready for those little silly Germanisms. And if you have some of those little German silly Germanisms, make sure you put it in the comment section below so we can all have a good laugh about them. Now, going on with those Germanisms, there's one that's actually kind of a shockingly important one to know is in Germany, 
if it doesn't have a stamp, it did not happen. You have to have a stamp. Stempfer, 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 or a certificate, or a shine, or a certificate. Because for some reason, Germans, unless there's a stamp, it didn't really happen. I remember I did my degree here in Germany, okay? I have a I have a Diplom Volkswirtschaftswissenschaftler, okay? So it's like a, a master's in economics and does all this other stuff. And, and and I'm trying to explain to the guys, like, you know, so so how does this translate? How should we do these kind of things? How do I prove I speak German? And the guy's like, Well, do you have a shine? I'm like, well, uh, a certificate. I'm like, well, no, nah, ich habe keine Zertifikate. Also, ich habe mein Diplom hier in Berlin gemacht und so. Ich kann das und das tun. And I speak really good German. And I'm explaining to him, yes, I did all these things in Germany. I've done all this stuff. And he's like, well, if you don't have a certificate, you don't speak German. I'm like, but I'm speaking German with you. I, I can do this all. I did my whole degree in Germany, in German. Sorry, sir. Unless you have the certificate with the stamp, it didn't actually happen. So that's one of those funny little things about Germany that it won't shock you, but it will be fun. Now the fifth thing that shocks tourists when they come here is Germans actually speak English pretty darn well. It's just that they prefer if you start in German and then they really open up and you'll be shocked how nice the Germans will be when you do start speaking a little bit of German. Yes, they will laugh at you, but then they'll just switch to English for you. So don't be shocked if that German you think doesn't speak any English actually speaks better English than probably me, okay? And that leads into another shock that I kind of alluded to is the Germans actually are really nice, really helpful, wonderful people. You know, we've had these stereotypes for years of how mean and awful Germans are and how unfriendly they are and how uncaring they are and that is so not true Germans are really are wonderful people you'll meet them in your hotel room you'll meet them at the restaurants and the waiters and stuff like that and when you start to talk to them you get to know them you really see how wonderful Germans really are and it does shock people because they've been told their whole lives that Germans are these heartless uncaring people but honestly if you have a German friend you have a German friend for life and it's amazing now the seventh shock I have for you when you come to Germany is it's not just pork. Yes, I know, pork is probably the most popular dish on food product kind of thing you will have here in Germany, but I'll be honest, if you come here, this is probably the best place in the world for vegetarian and vegan food that you can find. And the people here, they're really to help you find those things. So they'll have on their menu, oh, this is a vegetarian dish, and this has, you know, if this has uh, conservatives on there, if it has caffeine, they're really cool with helping those things out. So look, yes, you can have all the pork you want from bratwurst to hocks to those kind of things to non-pork things as well. So you really do have a really great time eating here because they also brought in food from all around the world and they really are excited to have good versions of those international foods here in Germany so don't worry it's not just bratwurst oh and the most popular snack in Germany isn't a bratwurst it's actually a donut kebab which comes from Turkey so there you go now the eighth thing that'll shock you when you come here is the fond if you're not sure what fond is, it's a deposit. When you're going, if you're coming here for Christmas markets and you get your your mug of Glühwein, it'll say, oh, the Glühwein is three, four, or five euros or whatever. And then there'll be this word called fond next to it with another, I don't know, five euros on top of that. So your five euro glue vine or hot wine actual cost you 10. The thing is, if you turn that cup back in, you get the fond back, the, the deposit back, that five euros, and it can get pretty pricey. We had eight uh, hot wines and stuff and kid wines last night, end up having like a $90 bill or 90 euro bill because of all the deposits on there. But you take it back, you'll get your money back. And with that, don't throw away your bottles and cans because they also have funds on them as well, deposits that you can turn back in at certain stores and get your money back. Now the ninth thing that's gonna shock you when you come to Germany is when you actually drive on the Autobahn. It is shockingly scary how fast people drive. And yes, they do have uh, the really fast lane, stuff like that, but also sometimes people are shocked when they find out there actually are speed limits on the Autobahn. It's not open road, open season all the time. There's actually times when there are speed limits, you know? And the thing is, when they have the speed limits, they have the Blitzen, the lightning. No, not the reindeer, it's a box that takes a picture of you like this and they get you when you're speeding so don't go you know, make sure you follow the, the speed limits when they are out there and if you are going to drive on the autobahn on the really fast parts stay on the right side because you may be thinking i'm the fastest person out there there'll always be somebody else on a ferrari or a porsche or something like that that's going to go mm, right by you okay and that can shock the shock the you know what out of you when it happens and the 10th thing that shocks tourists when they do come to germany is the um, Freilicher Körperkultur, or the free body culture of Germany. Look, Germans are very open with their nudity and things like that. And if you go to beaches or parks or things like that, you might see a nipple here, a penis there, these kind of things. And for some tourists that come from more um, 
humble countries like the US that does kind of shock them when they see all that nudity. But don't worry, the Germans don't care about it. I could go lay naked and no one's gonna care. Though no one really wants to see that, but they're not really gonna care or say anything. But what I will say is if you're coming here with your family, be careful on TV. Because if you give Junior the, the remote control, oh, you got jet lag kid, just click through the channels. He probably will find softcore porn, you know, late night on normal television. And in the, and in the, the uh, hotels, you'll find hardcore porn that It'll show up for five or six minutes and then disappear so for some tourists that is a bit shocking anyway those are 10 more things that might shock tourists when they come to germany it is an amazing place i highly recommend it whether you're going to berlin or whether you're coming here to munich or heidelberg or the the Hots mountains or, or wherever literally this place is amazing hamburg oh my god so much fun there but anyway if you want to learn more about traveling germany see our other video on 10 shocks of germany you know, check that out. Also, we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. And you want to learn more about Germany, what you should eat when you're here, five things you love and hate. We have it all on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Please do click those subscript. <laughs> Please do click that. Uh, Please do click that subscribe button, and you will get two or three travel videos from around the world every single week. So I'll say tschüss, or a little bit more formal, auf Wiedersehen from Munich. Bye.